Hi, I'm Brody with naturesfinestseed.com. Here at Nature's Finest Seed, we provide quality pasture blends, wildflower mixes, and elite turf grass blends for your yard. Today we're going to talk a little bit about site preparation for planting your yard. The first step that you're going to want to do is to remove any existing vegetation or weeds that might occur on your property. The easiest way to do this is to use a non-selective herbicide, such as Roundup, while the plants are actively growing. Follow the label directions and just use it like it says. After waiting seven days is a good time to till your soil. Now if you're adding topsoil, you're going to want to till in your topsoil to the existing soil that's already there. And this is going to avoid interfacing and allow for proper drainage throughout your soil system. After this step, now is the time that you're going to want to install your sprinkler system. And when you're installing and designing your sprinkler system, just remember that you want head-to-head -head coverage. And what this means is that any given sprinkler head will shoot all the way over to the adjacent sprinkler head next to it. This will ensure that you have proper irrigation and that no dry spots will occur throughout your yard. After this step, you can go ahead and grab a landscaping rake. So with the rake, basically what we're trying to do is just come along here and level everything. You can see these ridges that the tiller leaves, and we're just going to come along here, just kind of fill in the holes and level everything. And this is when you can rake up maybe some rocks and things like that. You can go through and get rid of them. Um, come in here with a wheelbarrow or whatever and, and shovel them up. But you just want to make it look nice and level. Because after this, it's what this is what you're left with for your yard. So you want to make it want to make it as nice as you can. Once your sprinkler system's installed, you can go ahead and get a lawn roller and roll your yard if you need to. Um, a good indicator for this is if you if you have a light soil and after you've tilled it and raked it. If it's really fluffy and you go walking out there and you're sinking in three or four inches, this is a good indicator that you need to roll your lawn and just firm up that soil bed. Um, for today, this soil that we're working with is kind of heavy and after we've tilled it here lightly and raked it, it it's already pretty firm and so we're going to go ahead and skip this step. And after we get it all leveled up and raked, we are ready to plant.